about pace. About pace. Left pace. Right pace. Hi, I'm Lene Lang, and this is a day in the life of an RTC cadet. Lene is one of many students involved in the Ohio University ROTC, or Reserve Officer Training Corps program. The program is for students who are interested in different branches of military service. OU offers two branches, Air Force and Army. The program is typically equipped with workouts three times a week, a class that all participants take, and some training in uniform, like drills and active shooter training. For me, I chose Air Force because Air Force is a really good choice if you want to have a family. It's a little bit more relaxed than the other branches. Like, for example, if you had chosen to join Army or the Marines, that's a little bit more of an intense military experience. And for me, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be able to serve my country and also enjoy college life at the same time. Due to COVID-19, ROTC adapted by splitting up each group into two flights. For Air Force, the two flights are called Alpha and Bravo. The various members of ROTC lead the workouts alongside a cadre or an active duty or enlisted military member. Though the schedule is rigorous, with most of the workouts beginning at 6 a.m. sharp in Walter Fieldhouse or Ping Recreation Center, the students involved find they gain a lot of great life lessons and experiences from the program. The week begins on Monday, where Lene wakes up around 5 a.m. to get ready for her workout with the Alpha Flight. For this particular week, the group started in Ping Recreation Center and had a game day to boost morale. After arranging their backpacks, or rucksacks as they're called, handling attendance, and doing some stretching, they split into classes to play handball. We aren't normally split up. Because of COVID, we had to split up into smaller flights. So we kind of just split our freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors evenly. And we just split into two different flights, two different groups. One of us works out at Ping on Monday, and then the other works out at Walter Fieldhouse, and then we switch. After the workout, they head to Walter Hall, where they have what's called POC Lab, which is where the upperclassmen can plan for the uniform drills that week. On Wednesday, it's back to the normal workout style of stations, drilling, and more. Lene heads to Walter Fieldhouse to meet up with her flight, where they start the same way, organizing their rucksacks, doing attendance, and stretching before they break into workout stations. Some of the workouts include running around the track, doing push-ups, sit-ups, and more. Some of the people in OUROTC are in on scholarship, getting their four years of college paid for in exchange for four years of service right after graduation. The rest of the ROTC cadets just joined for staying in shape, discipline, friendships, and the same appeal that any other campus organization would have. Okay, so as long as you don't have some pre-existing medical condition like asthma or you haven't, you know, gone to prison, pretty much anyone can join Air Force RTC. The difference between joining RTC and just enlisting in Air Force is that in RTC you're a student first. So Everyone stresses academics, keep your academics good, keep your GPA high, and then after the four years of college and RTC training, we will then commission on active duty, potentially get deployed and all that. However, the difference is if you're enlisted, then you're a military member before you're a student. So for example, you could still be attending college, but if you're enlisted, military comes first, they can technically pull you out of college at any time and deploy you if they needed to. Thursday is when the flight shows up in uniform for some drills. They practice commands and occasionally have specific training. This particular week, they went through active shooter training before doing their normal drills. For Lene, however, it's a bit different because she's head of public affairs for OURTC, meaning she's in charge of the organization's public image. Lene took photos of the active shooter training and of some of the routine drills to post on the group's social media. 
So typically when people think of the Air Force, they think of flying planes and pilots, but there's actually not as large of a percentage of pilots in the Air Force as people think. A lot of the jobs in the Air Force are very behind the scenes. That's the case for Lene with public affairs. While serving in the Air Force after college, Lene hopes to deal with the media and social media, potentially going on TV and speaking on behalf of the Air Force. Her goal is to give the public eye an idea of what the Air Force is doing and portray them in a positive light. And we would also have a big role in recruiting and trying to get people interested in joining the Air Force. Lene recognizes that she's in a male-dominated organization with ROTC, but contrary to what others might think, she hasn't felt singled out or alienated by her male counterparts in the slightest. Yes, we are a little bit outnumbered. For example, there's typically one woman for every four men. But for me, I never felt too different. I was very lucky, like, I have great leaders, I have great wingmen, and they never make me feel different or less than. It's a really great environment, and I'm really close with the girls that are in RTC, and we're very excited for active duty on the Air Force. Lene feels grateful for her experiences in ROTC and encourages people to learn more about the program to potentially join. More than anything, she knows she would not be enjoying her college experience as much if she wasn't a part of ROTC. I really feel like it keeps me grounded and it keeps my priorities straight. And honestly, without it, I probably would not be as motivated to do as well in school because they really do hold us to a high standard. About his left, his present harms. Order. Harms about his left, his left, his.